I, I hate it when it says the food reserves are low. I don't know what it's keying off of. I have no idea what it's keying off of because now we're just we're just now starting to pull in some really good stuff. All right, it's one last midnight. We're back with another episode of Forest Village. We started a new town. It's called Hillsford. Uh, we had to banish. We had to banish. <laughs> we had to abandon the last town. It was uh, tragic. We, we met a tragic demise. Too many people got killed off. And, uh, yeah, I... I don't know. I it, It's either I can't figure out this game very well, or there's something not quite right. We're going to keep working on it. We're going to keep working on it, because I want a nice city. And I have yet to build... A really nice city with this game. Other city building games? No problem. No problem at all. This one, a uh, little bit of a challenge. A little bit of a challenge. I'm going to try to put this fishing close to our storage facility. So that we don't have to go very far. And let's start getting down some farms. Let's, um, how many people do I have? Not enough, of course. Uh, let's get the profession list up here. Six people to start off with. Um, probably enough for one farm right now. Let's get a field going. We're going to continue to keep the 10 by 22 because that seems to be the magic number. So we'll put one there and we'll put another field right here and we'll put a third field down right here now I'm not going to use them all right away but at least I thought I'd get them laid out there we go good we'll uh, pause this pause this and we'll just get the first couple things up and running which is these these buildings let's go ahead and increase the speed to 5x I think they're gonna start focusing on this one first probably I would hope mm, no they're filling this one up let's pause this one too we're doing okay on bread and stuff let's get this house up and running because we need somebody we need somebody uh, to have a house. Like right away. Yep, they're moving all this stuff over. We'll have these other guys. We'll have them clear this area as much as possible. It's not a lot. We'll have them get rid of it though. It looks like we have some good stone and stuff around here. The initial one didn't look very well. Okay, let's get that guy a little house. Almost done with it. Then let's turn this back on. Get some fishermen going. Good. Uh, firewood. We're going to need somebody cutting firewood. Absolutely. We need to get the basics up and running. Which are... Where's my lumber guy? So lumberjack. Let's get the lumberjack. Right here. All right, good. Uh, let's put one fisherman on. Don't have a lot to spare. Let's put our forestry guy probably over here. This would be a good area for a forestry guy. Let's get a forestry guy. Yeah, kind of like right in here. That'll work. 
And we can put a hunter pretty close to town. Why don't we do that? Like, yeah, like right about here. Okay. We'll let those things go. This guy's going to get built. I got one fisherman fishing. I've got this field going to be constructed here in a minute. We can put one guy on the farm. So one, two, three, four. I need four people. I think I have enough. This is ready to go. Let's put potatoes down. Do okay. Get a farmer on there. Springtime. Should be alright with that. These guys are building a lumberjack. Which is good. So I'm almost done with that. And then we'll do the forestry guy. I might be able to get two rows of houses in here. I might be. What's what's the um let's get a lumber guy working? What is if I start looking at the resources. Uh, stone quarry. There's a really good stone quarry right in here. Seems like there's some really good stone right there too. In the water. If I wanted to jack that up. I've got a nice ore mine. Two of them. Wow, look at that one. 7,000. And what do I have for clay? Oh, right there, right next to the house, right? Would figure. And in the middle of my farm. Hmm. All right, we'll figure out where to put that soon, I suppose. Let's get a lumberjack going. Okay. And yeah, take this builder off. Once we get this hunter's house done. And then the next thing I can focus on probably is going to be a school, but that'll, that'll take, that'll take a person. Oh, that's an orchard. I don't want an orchard. I want a school. Where's my school? I can never find the school. There it is. I don't know why. I, I just like blank out trying to see that. The school. Alright, let's put the school right here. We don't have to build it right away. Let's get a hunter hunting. All right, once I get some food in here, I'll feel more comfortable. I've only got one spare guy. One guy. And there is a ton of resources we can start collecting. I think if I just go... Like, right over here. I mean, look at this. Obscene amount... ...of resources. All right, the only thing we can do is wait. Just check up the speed. Let's go ahead and do a quick save. Since we have everything laid out, I just want to make sure that we can we save it really fast. And we'll let these guys do their thing. So I go, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Appreciate you watching. Really do. I mean, I love Forest Village. I'm just a little bit frustrated with it. And the mods are starting to come out for it. So, 
It's just a matter of time before somebody does the equivalent of Colonial Charter mod or the equivalent of Mega Mod for Forest Village, and then Forest Village is just going to be off the hook. One of the things I did notice about Forest Village, though, it takes a lot longer to get a village up and running. So Village of 100 and Banish, no big deal. To maintain it and everything else, no big deal. Um, Forest Village, a lot tougher. Or a lot tougher to get it going. But still fun. Still fun. I just wish that the developers, when they make changes to the game, that they would list them uh, on Steam in the notes and would, would tell us about it. There has been since... Uh, 161 is released. There have been at least nine patches that have come out. And sometimes uh, there's been one day where I had one patch in the morning and one patch in the afternoon. So you know that they're breaking stuff and trying to fix them as fast as humanly can. But uh, they're not telling us what they're what they're doing, which is is horrible. It's like, should I even load my game? If you guys have messed up something so bad... Why waste my entire city waiting for you to come out with a patch? Or um, worse, I play it and I get my city killed off. And, and then I find out you you fix the problem a day later. So, these are the same guys that make... They have a whole line of um, Life is Futile. They have, uh, they have Life is Futile Your Own and Life is Futile MMO. Life is Futile Your Own... It's, it's kind of a first-person version of Forest Village, but from my understanding, it takes so long. It's supposed to be single-player, but it takes so long to do anything, it's not worth worth doing it. I own it, but um, to be honest, I've, I've only played it for like maybe an hour and couldn't figure out what the heck I should be doing. Um, and then they have an MMO version of your own, which I think they just call... Life is Feudal MMO or something, which is supposed to be, you know, get a whole group of your friends together and you guys start building a village and stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know how well those games have, have caught on or not. They got a lot of flack for this, this game initially because they were trying to copy Banished. They put up a nasty note that's, you know, and it's just like, it's just been, okay... They did a lot of uh, criticism, but then they've had their own series of problems. But maybe it'd take a year for them to get it all figured out. I have no idea. <laughs> but maybe it'd take a year for them to get calmed down. But all right, we have our we have our town going. We're starting to collect stuff, which is good. doing a little vaping and the only thing I can do is like wait you know I've got a couple teenagers I would like to be building this school but 200 Ugh. I have a bunch of people collecting stuff over here it should be really handy We're still bringing in fish. We've got some leftover bread from the journey, I suppose. It'd be good to increase these houses. I made the mistake early on in um, trying to like upgrade the house, but then I wound up getting a bunch of people killed off because I, I happen to do it in winter. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I, well, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I just did it in winter. Uh, all right, I got a couple people ready for work. Let's put one in the process of building this house here. I, I hate it when it says the food reserves are low. I don't know what it's keying off of. I have no idea what it's keying off of because now we're just we're just now starting to pull in some really good stuff. And thinking about pulling in stuff, we need people to move faster. So let's get some roads in. Let's get a road right down here. 
That should really help. And let's see, he walked from there to there. So let's get a road. Uh, let's see, from here, as far as we can go. And then over. Probably into this area or something. And around about by the houses, I think would be good. It's gonna take a little while to get the road built, but there, it's necessary. It's necessary to keep people moving, walking a little faster. So we'll get another house up, and then I want to start focusing on this school. I think will probably be best. Turn this on. Get people to start delivering goods there. We have the forester in here somewhere. Chopping down trees right there. We should probably, in his radius, clear out everything else. But we don't we don't have a lot of people right now. Little short on people. Little short on people. Ah. Oh, having a root beer. I'm having this like Chicago based root beer. It's pretty good, but I don't know. What's your favorite root beer? What's your guys' favorite root beer, if you drink root beer? Alright, barn's coming along. Tools, we need to start worrying about tools pretty soon. This house just got built, so they're, um, they're populating it. nice that I moved my teenagers into a house. It gives the parents the opportunity to do something else. And as for you guys, I don't know. Yeah, get some wood in there. Shouldn't have just taken 10. You should have taken a lot. Get a bunch of wood in there. All right, we're starting to build up for the schoolhouse. Except we're out of wood. Uh, that might get to be a little bit problematic here. Let's chop down trees over here. It's like a hundred and something in trees. I have firewood. I... Again, I, I go back to this concept of... I didn't get to harvest this enough. We only got 400 out of it. We need really need to have two guys doing it. Next year. Does this guys produce any more babies? No. good it's good this is the start this is forest village the start of forest village uh same with banished you know you try to do that initial get all the resources down get everything down try to build stuff up i just don't have anybody or enough people to be gathering resources right now I mean, I have a lot of resources around me, but I don't have enough, enough people. They are cutting down trees. They are hammering away. I see them working on it. And this is early winter. So we'll be getting into... Finally got a baby born. Who's the baby born to? 
good. You guys should be like producing more. Got a bunch of kids in this building. I don't understand why. I've got a seven year old uh, who's a builder, by the way, taking care of all those children. Yeah, it's going to take a while to fill this up. At least I have enough clay for it. I don't have enough hay before it, but... We'll get the rest. Let's see. How about stone? We need stone. About 40 stone there. Let's collect that up. About 60 stone over here. This guy's like right next to the firewood person and and he's not getting any firewood. Uh, 390 lumber for this thing. It's so much lumber. It does, you know, it's a smaller village, 10x, no problem. It's just with the larger one. Either that or it was my weirdness with the, the whole making that bridge. I don't know. These guys keep working. Keep working at clearing stuff out. Schoolhouse is coming along, it's just coming along slowly. Okay, we've got another worker. It's awesome. We're into winter still. Into winter. We have plenty of fish, plenty of bread. This guy's still taking up wood. Ugh. It's hardcore. I need that lumber for other things. Getting close. Getting close. Yeah, I don't want to take these guys too far because they don't have, you know, much of anything right now. And again, I'm going to have to get tools running. That's got done telling me tools are low. We're going to have to do that. But that's all going to have to wait till next episode. I thank you guys for joining me. Really appreciate it. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Yeah, and also, uh, hey, share this with your friends. That'd be great. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.